the fire eater to prove us a decent family. Perhaps you'd care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, Midget. Nor need for insults. It's no insult. It's the truth. He's a Midget. Like I said, that's an insult. Would you call your chum a giant? Shut up. You play in or not? Let us play, gentle. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose.
Your tits up, mate. Slap those asses' ears on your asses' noggin. Oh, such a shame. I'd already pictured you in those ears. Quite the interesting picture, too. I know of other ways to look interesting. I could show you. <sighs> I'll think about it. Time to drink! We are at a wedding! Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed! Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Quite the luck, this Gwent. Onward, to the next diversion. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to yours, Shani, naturally. Your elf and happiness. Fortune smile upon you, white wolf. <laughs> Of all these flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. Believe the young man's mistaken me for another. Not at all. I like my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. That's enough. Get going. You're drunk and randy. Nothing good's ever come of that mix. Your health, Sir Dwarves. May your beards grow long, but never tangle round your ankles. To the young lovers, may their loins never run. May the sire many a thing. seem two like this. One in an antel, the other when I caught a hen after chipped, not eating tried to devour week. its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. The hound tore its chain off the wall. Underfed it seems, or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's blood. A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. And judging by its house, demon is a hulk, but beggars can't choose their tracks. Following some so dog's I shall follow trail? these. Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. I think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, 
Get down. Oh, no. No bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't reach? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. I say, cracking good m Find me. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp, can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing. Oh, you shan't pull the wool over my eyes. I know your type. Now, here's the plan. We shall head down this path till we arrive at the wedding. You'll have sobered by then. But... Silence. Do you know me, sir? When a nobleman speaks, you... You will stay close at my side. We will return to the wedding where you will put on a show to make our honor... He... Yes. Good. Then let's be off. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. God! Bear! Seems there shall be no tricks. We must inform the bride's mother the magician turned coward. <laughs> I found your fire liquor, but he gave up the ghost on the way back. Too much vodka. Just my luck to hire a drunk. And Demon, what's with him? He failed to return? No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. The dog's small beer. No fire eating, that's the grief. Aye, the grief. No show. Oh no. What can we do? I regret the loss as well. But there, there. You've put on a lovely wedding even without him. You think so? Truly. Holy. I haven't reveled so thoroughly in ages. You've nothing to be ashamed of. There are vittles, musicians, and all enjoy themselves. As should you. You marry your daughter off today. 
be glad. Her sadness can only bring her worry. Witcher speaks wise words, my dear. Come, let's see to the guests. Yes, let's. Thank you, Witcher, for your trouble. And your kind words. I beg to differ, madame. You are quiet. Tuck. Tuck. Sahab. That greeting. My. Quite simply, I know a lot. Is that so? What? That you were ever the worst brother. That you envied all gear from your earliest days and always wished to be just that. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. All geared learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you may do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale imitation. Oh, by the way, all geared's a much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it. I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me. Cornered me like a rat. But old gear told everyone I flew at all five. Took them on all at once. Alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgird visits my grave. Often. Pours a drink for me. Gets soused himself. And talks of the old times. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say... What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... Time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Old Gid was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the cafe. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. So be it. If there's no demand, I shan't supply. But it would have been a beautiful speech. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. You're a bridesmaid, Shani. Take your place. The midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jesterly or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, then give them a few weeks. And we'll toast the lovely them with each pair of puffy cheeks. Don't you mind our song, we all sing to be kind. We sing so we can empty, yet another sign. Right 
Really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. Yes. You're a good chap, Witcher. That was dirt, but good. A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. <laughs> you seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick. Go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> longer at your service always I hope you didn't hurt him I disposed of a pest there was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer Geralt had finished his task you see so yes I know as soon as he finishes one task he needs to rush off to the next who knows perhaps this time will be different I saw you looking at each other and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. I 
should like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade, follow his path. As for me, well, perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. I'm not sure I understand. Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun.